짜잔! This is Pasta Hana. 젊은 친구들 안녕하세요. 한나 전주사님이에요. Welcome to Jamon Friday Online Service. I'm so glad to see you guys today. We're going to go through the book of Acts today, so make sure to bring your Bible with you. And I'll see you guys after praise time. Make sure to sing loud with big motions. Did you guys enjoy praising the Lord? Awesome. 
Were you guys able to give everything, your voice, your big motion, your heart? Good, if you did during praise time, two thumbs up to you. Today, like I said, we're gonna go over Book of Acts. So please open up your book with me to Book of Acts, chapter five. We're going to read from verse one. Book of Acts, chapter five, verse one. If you're ready, we'll read it together in one voice. Ready? Begin. Acts chapter five, verse one to 11. But a man named Ananias with his wife Sapphira sold a piece of property. And with his wife's knowledge, he kept back for himself some of the proceeds and brought only a part of it and laid it at the apostles' feet. But Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and to keep back for yourself part of the proceeds of the land? While it remained unsold, did it not remain your own? And after it was sold, was it not at your disposal? Why is it that you have contrived this dead in your heart? You have not lied to man, but to God. When Ananias heard these words, he fell down and breathed his last. And great fear came upon all who heard of it. The young man rose and wrapped him up and carried him out and buried him. After an interval of about three hours, his wife came in, not knowing what had happened. And Peter said to her, Tell me whether you sold the land for so much. And she said, Yes, for so much. But Peter said to her, How is it that you have agreed together to test the Spirit of the Lord? Behold, the feet of those who have buried your husband are at the door, and they will carry you out. Immediately she fell down at his feet and breathed her last. When the young men came in, they found her dead, and they carried her out and buried her beside her husband. And great fear came upon the whole church and upon all who heard of these things. Amen. Jemon, have you guys ever lied to your parents before? Or to anyone? I have. When I was younger, my mom told me to brush my teeth before I go to my bed. And time to time, my mom would ask me to make sure if I brushed my teeth or not. She asked me, Hannah, did you brush your teeth? And I would always tell my mom, uh, yeah, mom, I brushed my teeth. But in reality, I didn't. So that's lying, right? Well, weeks went by and months went by. I started having aches. It's because I didn't brush my teeth. And I remember going to dentist. That was really, really bad. I remember not to lie from that day on because that caused me to have ache and it allowed me to go to the dentist and ugh, I didn't like that experience. Well, in today's Bible story, we see a husband and a wife, Ananias and Sapphira, ugh, and they lie in front of God. And we're gonna see what happened. So today we see a husband named Ananias and a wife named Sapphira. Well, they promise saying that if they sell their property that they will give 100% all the money to God. So when they sold their property, Ananias husband brought some, not all, some of the money and gave it to God in front of everybody. But God knew what was going on. And because Holy Spirit was upon Peter, Peter also knew that Ananias was lying. So Peter asked Ananias, Ananias, 
Is this all the money? And Ananias, he lied. He said, yeah, of course, that's all the money. This is all the money from the property that we sold and we're gonna give it to God. Here we go. And God knew what was going on in his heart. What's in his heart? Right, Satan is taking over his heart. Don't let Satan control over your heart. Not even a little bit. Because that little bit will become a lot and it's a big deal. And that's what we learned on Wednesday too, right? Well, right there and then, Ananias, because he was not being honest before God and the man, he was killed. And sometime later, his wife named Sapphira, she walked in and Peter asked the same question to the wife. Peter said, Sapphira, is this all the money that you are giving to God? You say you're going to give all your money when you sell, when you sell the property. And just like her husband, she also lied. She knew that some of the money was kept, but she lied and said, yes, that's all the money that we have and we're giving it to God. Here you go. God knew that she was lying and she was also killed right there and then. You guys, God knows everything. It says in the Bible that he even knows how many hairs that we have. Do you know how many hairs you have? I don't. He knows what's going on in your head. He knows your thoughts. He knows what's, what you have in your heart. We can't try to lie because he just knows it all, you guys. Through today's story, we're able to learn many, many lessons, but I would like to go over a few. First one is this, God knows it all. Be honest, don't lie. Number two is this, don't give space for Satan to come into your heart. Number one, God knows it all. Number two, give your heart to God not to Satan. Let's put our hands together at this time. Let's close our eyes to pray. Let us pray. God, thank you for reminding us once again that you know everything about us, everything about who we are. We know that sin keeps us away from you. Help us to come before you and know that you know everything about us. We give you our heart. We give you worship. We pray that your name will be lifted up. We love you. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.